and we're a little early, but you know what? We're going to get started because that's how we roll. Okay. Oh, we're right on the dot. Perfect. Hi, everybody. Good to see your faces. Is everybody still full from Thanksgiving? No? Yeah? No? Okay. Well, I'm not because I got, I was over the leftovers very quickly. So, and we didn't make a lot either. So, okay. We're going to um, start tonight by going over the announcements for everybody. There are a few new ones um, that came up today, which are really super exciting. Thank you again, Michelle Voris, for always doing this amazing PowerPoint, making it look so pretty. Um, you're going to hear from a lot of us tonight, which is super fun. We're going to do a little bit of a recap over the last few weeks that we have um, gone over Grant Cardone 10X training. It's been a 15-week training. You can find all of the transcripts and all of the homework, which Michelle has called life work, which it truly is, on the One Person Big Difference Facebook page under guides. And you will see it there very clearly. All the weeks are there for you. So um, it's back to normal this week, which is great until we hit Christmas. But this week, tomorrow night, we have the amazing Sam Flake. This man has a very humble servant heart, and it's so fun. He will be presenting tomorrow night with his wife, Vandy. You can find that on the official Life Vantage Facebook page. Don't know why I went backwards. Uh, and then Thursday night, as always as well, we have a webinar. You will get notification of this in your email from Ahave and Associates, which is Stu Brody. Um, he is a top of our food chain on our team. And every Thursday night, there's a webinar that you and your guests can tune into. This is Zoom style. And the Zoom ID is on this shareable. And we will get to hear from the amazing Je Dr. Jess Bueller, which always brings the heat. She is so knowledgeable. Can't wait to hear from her. And then one of the um, promotions that launched today was Stuff Your Stocking, Buy Two, Get One Free. So as you can see on here, a lot of the skincare and the body care line is included in this. And this is a buy two, get one, and it must be of the same product. So um, I know in the five or 500 group on Facebook Messenger, there have been shareables that you can find to put in your stories, but this is something as well. Um, I know Leslie posted this shareable as well that you can send to your customers, to your, to your distributors so that they know exactly what's included in that. And then also don't forget too, we still have the promotion happening where if you buy a body care line, which is under products and promotions on your team, um, on your website, the company will match what you buy and give that item to the women's shelter in Orlando, which is super cool. So speaking of Orlando, Elite Academy is gonna be here before we know it, kids. <laughs> February 11th and 12th. So I know um, Leslie today was already shopping for flights and found a heck of a deal. So it be on the lookout for really good deals for your flight now. And then the hotels, we still don't have that information, but stay tuned. We'll have that soon, I'm sure. Um, Croatia is still going on. And I know after a long weekend sometimes, even after it's been a couple months since we've announced this, we're in our head, right? Where are you on that scale? Are you a one, two, three, or four? And every week I'm showing my team the same thing. And I want them to be that I'll do whatever it takes person, right? I've got my tracker up. I have almost two sheets filled and still tracking it all the time. And you can look in your back office under the tracker and you can see exactly where you're at as well. But they added another incentive. So it starts today, goes till the end of December. Um, and that incentive is while you bring in a new distributor, you're not only going to get points for Croatia, but you can also earn extra cash cha -ching, for Christmas. So if you bring in an elite pack, that is our highest pack here in the U.S., you'll get an extra $85 bonus on top of that. If you bring in a premier pack, you get an extra $25 bonus on top of that, which is super cool. Always remember to be on the lookout for Big Blue Calendar for events happening in your area. If you are hosting one yourself, be sure to put it on there because you never know who might pop up to come in and say hello. And then again, the 1% club that happens every single month, one new distributor, one second month order, and one event attendance. And with that too, really make sure that you are double checking your back office and you are making sure that you know what your enrollments were last month, your best 
And are you above that this month? Because that's going to get you, if you're above your best this month for people on subscription, gets you an extra five points for Croatia. Every point counts. Okay. So I'm going to go back to share screen. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. And I'm going to share real quickly. It's about two minutes. The last video from the Grant Cardone training that just is a little bit of a wrap up and goes through a reminder of some of the top keys that we've talked about these last few weeks. And then you're going to hear from those of us that have been training in the last few weeks, our top takeaways. And then we get to hear from the pose as well. Their top takeaways um, as the people that invested in this, they got another viewpoint of this entire training. So it'll be fun to hear their takeaway as well. Navigating organizational success takes intentionality and discipline. It can come with huge rewards and personal growth as you develop yourself in an environment that allows you to contribute and succeed at the highest level. The purpose of this program was to provide strategic concepts and techniques on how to succeed as an entrepreneur and become a 10x employee. Additionally, we wanted to provide insight to business owners or leaders who wanted to develop and inspire their top contributors. For the employees, it was designed as a blueprint of how to work diligently as a key contributor at the highest level of impact in order to succeed personally, professionally, and financially within their company. Let's reflect on that for a moment. In the beginning of this course, we talked about John Maxwell and his law of the lid. His law told us that an individual's lid, which is his or her maximum ability to influence, will determine their potential to influence others. That concept was extremely important to understand. It was a key component to this program because we broke the law of the lid down into three categories, belief, operational effectiveness, and leadership. First, the belief lid. The higher you believe, the higher you achieve. In the words of Grant Cardone, massive thoughts must be followed by massive actions. Next, the operational effectiveness lid. The most effective contributors create the greatest level of impact. Once again, Grant states it best. Success is your duty, obligation, and responsibility. Lastly, the leadership lid. The value you provide is measured by your ability to influence others. As John Maxwell said, the greater the impact you want to make, the greater your influence needs to be. We believe that partnering with your business owner to implement these concepts in your organization will not only demonstrate the value of a top performer's impact, but also create a path to achieving your personal, professional, and financial goals. As Brandon Dawson says, what you think is what you say, what you say is what you do, and what you do becomes your legacy. Now is the time to take massive action to build your legacy as a 10X employee. The purpose of this program was to provide strategic concepts and techniques on how to succeed. Okay. All right, you guys. So when we first started this, I know there were a lot more people that were actively engaged, but I know a lot of you did that first week homework where I hope a lot of people watch this playback as well. You took an assessment and you measured yourself on your belief, your operational effectiveness, and your leadership. You ranked yourself. Now in this week 15 homework, you're going to do it again. And I know for myself, I raise my lids, people. <laughs> I raise my belief by eight points, operational effectiveness by 11, and my leadership by eight. And one of the things that stood out to me too, especially in this recap, was they talk about your maximum ability to influence will determine your potential to influence others. And that doesn't mean to influence everybody, right? We're not gonna be able to do that. No one in the world can do that. Not even Jesus did that. <laughs> but it means that if you step outside your comfort zone and you do the things that make you uncomfortable, like for a lot of us leaders was training you guys and leading you through this, it is going to raise your lid by default. And it's also going to raise your influence in how you project yourself, your stories, who you are to your target market, the people that are supposed to work with just you. Um, another thing I took away from this, and I'm gonna turn it over to Amy. And then Amy, you can choose the next person. 
was um, <laughs> my time management. I wrote that if I don't control my time, it's going to control me. And that without goals and vision, I'm still going back to that week where we talked about the goals and the vision for one year, three year, five year. They are so vital because if we don't know what we're working towards, if we don't know the goals that we have, the domino effect that takes place that can affect not only us personally, but our business and our family is really huge. It's really massive. We have to create a vision and we have to know exactly why we're showing up and what we're working towards. Because if you don't know what your goal is and why you said yes to this in the first place, or what kind of income you need to change the life of your family, you're not gonna show up on these trainings. And then after a long week like Thanksgiving, you're just gonna keep spiraling downhill. And before you know it, when you come back, you're gonna feel like you're starting all over. It's so important to know where you're going so you have that vision, so you continue to show up. So those are just a couple of my takeaways. Amy, I'm gonna turn it over to you, sister. Awesome. My goodness. I just, it's hard to follow Tanya. Cause she's just so well at saying all of those things. Um, again, I was going to talk about, you know, just the areas of, of the belief, operational effectiveness and leadership. And I'm just in awe of how those have each raised for me as well in the last 15 weeks. And it's been longer than 15 weeks because we had intermittent, you know, breaks and stuff, but 15 weeks is a long commitment. And so congratulations to, to those of you who have shown up and without accountability uh, and, and really like, you know, being held accountable to this, it's really hard to have those homework assignments done every week, right? But that doesn't mean that you can't go back and get them done. And so just showing up is helping you grow. And I, I like to piggyback on what Tanya just said, like that's, that's huge. And just knowing that like you being here right now is helping you grow. And for me, like there's so many times where it's like, oh my goodness, you know, Mondays especially, it's hard to show up. It's hard for anybody, no matter what rank they're at. And we have the same internal battles that you're facing. And it's when we choose to, to do that, to do those hard things that we don't wanna do, that we break down those barriers. When we showed, choose to commit to our Monday night meetings, when we show up and commit to our LVAs, even if it takes us a long, you know, 10 hour round trip drive for some of us, um, when we commit and book flights to Orlando and Phoenix and, and do those hard things. And so what I basically with this program, this program grew, grew me in so many ways. Like, I feel like I'm just so much more intentional um, and have just that much more knowledge about how to run this business um, because what's really crazy is when we when we would show up we had another call that we did where we showed up and learned um, with a bunch of people doing this program like 150 at a time would be on a zoom call and I would sit there every week and think we're the only network marketing company in that call and I'm like oh my goodness we got such a leg up we got so much we have so much here that most of these 10X employees don't even know. Like the opportunity that we are sitting on guys is gonna take, it, it, has the op, it has the potential to take every single one of us out of our day job and have time freedom and financial freedom if we use the tools that we've been given. And so to me, it's like, just like that vision gets so much bigger when we start to realize what is at our fingertips? And if we can use it effectively and efficiently, we can really change our lives, but we're going to change thousands of lives around us because of that. So just a whole bunch of takeaways. Amy, can I ask a quick question? Yeah. You've done such a great job of tracking things on your marker board, your whiteboard. Can you share with everybody what you've done and how that might help them? in their yes. business and, and what ahas maybe you had through doing that on a regular basis? Yes. Um, so I'm looking at it right now and my daughter came in my bedroom and she like put her fingers through all of it. So I'm kind of sad because it's really, I can still kind of read it, but I'm like, oh man. Um, so basically tracking our key performance indicators, our KPIs, and um, for me, what it's, what's really cool is that when I start tracking those things, what you, I've been told this since day one, what you track grows, okay? And I'm a horrible tracker, to be completely honest. I am not good at tracking. I'm not good at 
like keeping lists. If I keep lists, they end up in multiple places. I am not organized, even though maybe social media might make me look organized. I am not. And so just, I went and bought two big whiteboards at Costco and I started just writing down at the end of each month um, for the last few months. Um, oh my goodness, it's so destroyed. It's hard for me to read. But basically, um, the key performance indicators are like new enrollments. Um, oh, shoot. I wish I had it written down on something that wasn't destroyed right now. Um, just top things like how many customers did we bring in? How many distributors did we bring in? Um, what was my total volume month after month? How many people are on subscription month after month? And I don't know, Sean, if you have that list, but basically what I was seeing is that when I started tracking those numbers, they actually started to grow. And whereas before, for the last 12 months before this program, my numbers were all tanking. And I feel like we get into our head really fast and we forget to focus on the correct things. And because we're not focusing on the correct things, we're actually focusing on the negative areas and things start to die. And when we can turn and focus on the key performance indicators, what's going to um, elevate our business, that, that start, that's when things start to grow. Sorry. Thank you. And the wins. The Your wins. 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 <laughs> For sure. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Who are you turning it over to? Lisa, would you like to go next? <laughs> love to because Amy just hi everybody Amy just touched on a lot of what I was um, wanting to contribute as well but one of the biggest takeaways for me through this program I mean this was this was um, this was intense it would for me personally and I know for many of you and some of the people that we were um, going through it with as well but um, I think the areas that it was intense for for some of us are areas where we needed it and like Amy I felt the same way that I was often just looking at my bottom line of my numbers each month as far as, you know, where I was towards rank advancement or whatever, where my team was. But this has really helped me to dial in on those key performance indicators. Again, I can't stress it enough, guys. Go back to the transcripts about KPIs. And this was this has been, you know, really, really important for me. So looking at, you know, just taking it down to basics, the have you hit performance club each month? Have you hit five for 500? And for me, you know, one of the new goals with five for 500 is bringing on two distributors. So if I, if I hit the five for 500 each month, um, which is always a goal of mine, a minimum goal, um, and bringing on two distributors, that's phenomenal. So, um, tracking with the KPIs, we can't go wrong going forward in this. And really this 10X program is about, you know, encouraging you to own your business, you know, be the best, be the best employee of your own company. Right. And that's what, that's how we need to lead. Um, another thing with the goals, this was difficult for me to dial in on goals. And I kept finding myself struggling with the timeline. And when do I turn those in? You know, when should that should that be a one year, a three year, or a five year goal? And one of the things that Grant Cardone said was really cut the time in half or cut the time, you know, dial in on the time of who says something should be attainable in five years. Why not say for you it's going to be one or two? So as long as we are dialed in on what we want, the time I think just becomes something that um is completely can completely be changed with your mindset. Um, the last thing I just wanted to add is dial in on Instagram, you guys, to if you follow some hashtags for 10x or um, Cardone or um, 10x mentorship, we can put these out later in in one person. But ye, this community is phenomenal, and like Amy said, we were a part of a, a group each Wednesday of people that are working for corporations, and so. To hear them going through the same growth that we are and knowing that we are in the right place. This has been a phenomenal program. Um, thank you, Sean and Michelle. Really amazing. So just stay in, in stay. My biggest takeaway for everybody would be stay focused on these key performance indicators. If you're grow, if you're doing this to grow, then you can't go wrong. It's only going to take you in the right direction. So 
That's all I've got. Thank you. Leslie, I'll turn it to you. Oh gosh, okay. So I had a few things written down and then Tanya starts spouting off all this stuff and I'm like, wait a minute here. This is like really deep and profound. Tanya, I'm like, Amy, I'm like, how do I follow up with all of these women? So I started rethinking what I wrote, but one of the things that stuck out for me, um, you know, one of the ways that I really struggle which is one of the reasons why I've loved, I have loved Life Vantage so much is that we have the ITT system and the, the duplication. And it was really interesting for me to work through this because I realize where I have failed in the past and where I continue to struggle. And um, interestingly enough, I don't know if you all seen where Michelle put up the post, uh, the Albert Einstein post about how, you know, we, we always want to focus on the one thing that we did wrong and we don't focus on the things that we do right. And I want us all to get in the habit, including myself, at least maybe, maybe we can just call it our soulful Sundays. And at that point in time, we can sit down and maybe physically write down at least one win that we had during the week. And that win may not have anything to do with our business. It may just have to do with our life, but we're all succeeding and winning in life. And I think we need to get in the habit of celebrating those wins. And I know as a group, we want to incorporate that into future meetings and let people step up and tell, you know, some of the wonderful things that are happening. So I love the idea of focusing on wins because I know I'm very critical of myself and, um, you know, duplicating has been hard for me and really uh, honing in on where I feel like that I could do better with my team as far as duplication and, and being able to hone in on where I can, you know, keeping with being vulnerable. Um, you know, I, I think I could do better with setting up some systems and reaching out to people and just, you know, hopefully being a little bit more of a Sean Poe, being more analytical and looking through, you know, numbers and, and helping people stay on track. I'm not very good at that, but I need to become better at that because I know my team needs that and they depend on me for that. So those are things. And, you know, again, not to beat a dead horse, but the KPIs are huge. Um, I'm not a super analytical person. I'm, I'm very much of a, a person who is uh, action. Let's just go. I don't really look at detailed oriented type things. So for me to have to reel things in and look at things from a detailed aspect is where I know I need to grow, which has been amazing because it was something that I did not realize. Um, so those KPIs, and if you're wondering what week that was, it was week nine. And the reason that I remember that is because we struggled <laughs> to get through that ourselves. And I mean, we thank God for Sean Poe, because he really kind of narrowed it down and said, all right, this is what you need to look at. So I made a spreadsheet. I've been tracking my KPIs and, um, it is a very good week to look back on. And I think that um, if you guys look back at that and start honing in and start tracking some things that are important for not only you, but for your team and checking in with people, I think you're going to see that, you know, you're going to be more focused on, you know, where you're lacking and, and, and where you're actually winning. And then finally, um, I'll just wrap up with, I love the week where they talked about setting different kinds of goals, not only personal, pro uh, professional and financial but also making those smart goals. I think that's something we all set down goals, but we, we don't look if they're, you know, they're specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, timely. Being able to understand that those goals need to be narrowed down and that they have focus was really great for me because you want to make sure that it's attainable, but it's also okay to dream big and to have, you know, short-term goals and long-term goals. So, that's it for me. That's what I took out of this. And it's been just incredible. And I hope you guys have uh, gotten as much out of it as we have. Susie, it's over to you. Thank you, Leslie. I could just basically say ditto to what everybody else just said. Um, but I do have a pro tip for you guys. And this kind of echoes what Amy said. So my whiteboard, I was tracking my KPIs. or I do have my KPIs right over here on my whiteboard. It was on the floor and my three-year-old came by and started erasing every little number. So pro tip for you guys, get a little notebook, make sure they're in your notebook or on an Excel spreadsheet. I'm a notebook girl, so I have them in my notebook and on my whiteboard, but now I can go back to my notebook and, and write them back down on my whiteboard. So pro tip, have a duplicate <laughs> and hang it on the wall so it's not low 
um, down where someone can erase it. But tracking KPIs for me really was so powerful. Having them right in front of me so that I could see them. I always thought, you know, I know what they were from the, the month before. You know, I, I have a, a great idea of what they were. I didn't really think I needed to have them written down, but the power of having them written down and having them in front of you where that you where you could see them um, and um, and just really dial into the purpose behind you know the each each number that you're looking at is is massive it's just it's just one more step forward so if there's any little tidbit that you could take away from the zoom tonight i think it's to make make sure that you're start starting to track those kpis um, and then i think again i would i could echo it at least everything that you know everything that everybody else said but belief led um we know that you know we have an unlimited belief lid, but sometimes we get in our heads and I'm guilty of that. I'm getting in my head and not really seeing my true potential. And we know just from, from, um, from being in this business, you guys, we have the belief of the, our enroller, our upline, um, someone who brought us into this business. And so borrow their belief, borrow their belief of the products, borrow their belief of the business, borrow their belief until you can build that belief of your own. And once you do, again, that belief is just unlimited. And for me at week one, my belief lid was at a two. And then at week 15, I rated myself as an eight. And so I definitely um, definitely grew in, in that lid. And so I'm so grateful for Shauna Michelle for bringing this 10X training to us. This is so valuable. And I last thing I wanna say is that um, the time would have passed, right? Either way, whether we would have done this 10X training or not. And so now that we've accomplished 15 weeks, and now that if anybody has missed any of these weeks, you can go back and, and rewatch the videos, rewatch um, the, um, the Zooms and make sure you do your homework. But getting back into it is, is really powerful. Having access to it is amazing. So thank you, Shauna Michelle, for your belief in all of us and giving us this amazing training. I just feel so full of gratitude for, for this training because it definitely has um, made me grow and learn a lot about myself. So I will turn it over to you guys. Thank you again. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this. So, <laughs> so many nuggets here, you guys. And one thing that I would suggest anytime that you're learning information from multiple people is listen for golden threads. And this is something that I learned years ago. And what I mean by that is things that are repeated over and over by successful people have purpose for you hearing them. And they, they are very, very good keys to you having success if you follow and do that as well too. So one of the things that you heard over and over again were the key performance indicators. And we all know that what you focus on matters. Correct? What you focus on matters. And in today's day and age, it can very easily be filled uh, in your mind, I guess, with many distractions that have no bearing on your life, have no purpose for being in your brain, but we're being bombarded with messages because of certain things that we're paying attention to. So I think that's a good key performance indicator as well, too, mm -hmm. in addition to our business key performance indicators, is what are those major distractions in your life that should be removed? Um, this 15 weeks probably turned into 20. Mm -hmm. uh, we gave time uh, at certain instances where we needed more time. We had um, Elite Academy, mm -hmm. Convention, things like that that came up along the way. But first, I, I just want to congratulate all of you guys for tuning in and going through this because it is my contention that this is the base, this is the foundation, this is the cement to people's business to just lift off in 2022 with what was done. Um, a lot of what we did was very purposeful. Um, there's a lot of you on here that we could have easily, easily had uh, involved with the weekly trainings that we were doing. But one of the things that we really wanted to focus on, just so you have a little insight on what we were thinking, was we wanted to teach the principle of learn, do, teach. 
And what you saw over the past 15 to 20 weeks was us teaching lessons that we were learning and incorporating into our lives. We were then teaching to another group of people who then were turning around, incorporating it into their life and then teaching other people, okay? And, and that to me was one of the biggest takeaways of how you can empower other people. And I hope that some of you, if not most of you, were also taking what you were learning on a weekly basis, putting it into action, and then hopefully teaching some people around you. And some of you honestly may have been doing that even unconsciously, mm -hmm. not knowing that you were doing it. So I, I'm just, I'm super, super proud of, of you know, everybody in this group. But what I want to share with you is the next phase of this is really taking that foundation. And we're going to meet with uh, the Cardone group. Uh, we're going to probably go out there. Um, now it looks like the beginning of January to just take and build upon what we've started here. And I'm so excited about being the first network marketing group through there because I think we have a huge, huge opportunity to get really close with them because they see this as a challenge. They see this as their- In a good way. Yeah. As, They're excited about as it. As their ability to step up and do something a little bit different in a space that they're not accustomed uh, to doing, uh, you know, th their typical business would be a traditional business model. So I know that they're super excited as well, too, to see where they can help take this uh, in 2022. Um, the lessons, the homework, the life work, you know, it, it, there were probably weeks that might have been a little bit missed or, you know, weren't weren't done to the fullest potential. Um, and you have the opportunity at any point in time to really go back and just uh, do yourself a favor yeah. and, and put it into it. But I think more than anything is using these lessons as an ongoing tool. Like it doesn't end because now we're doing the wrap up call and then we're going to move on to, you know, different teachings next week and the weeks and months going forward. Like this is a living, breathing part of the personal development process uh, in this journey that we've been on. Um, the last couple months, I'll be honest with you, have been a challenge. Uh, we've had a lot of different things that have come up and, you know, regardless of what somebody sees from the outside, we're all human. And if you are going through great times right now, I promise you something's going to come up that's going to be a bump in the road. And I, I think, you know, God sometimes challenges us in times that things are seeming really good to just throw things into, into life to give us perspective again on maybe what, what we're thinking about, what we're focusing on. And, you know, uh, the knowledge that, that we can overcome a lot. You know, um, I think about the two weeks that we spent in Arizona uh, helping Carrie and, and the boys deal with the loss of, of a husband and a dad. Um, when we came back here uh, this past week, um, our daughter um, who had lost one of her best friends growing up two years ago uh, to a car accident, uh, his mother passed away this past week. And so we, we, been through this process again with our daughter of losing somebody else that was really, really important to her. Um, my parents came down to help us kind of move and, and do different things. And we found out a couple of nights ago that uh, right before they left, um, my father was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. Um, you know, there, there's just all these things that from the outside people don't, don't truly know what's going on. But we can utilize all of these events that happen to help us communicate better, um, to help people on, on this journey, whether it is in network marketing with you know, the health benefits that we provide or the business opportunity that, that we have in front of us. But I think more than anything, this encapsulates encap what we do more than anything else is helping other people be better humans. And so I, I think that that's my message tonight is I hope that there were one, two, three key things that over the last 15 to 20 weeks um, that you had the opportunity to have just a, a, 
a light bulb moment of, oh my gosh, you know, may, maybe I, I was unconsciously doing this, but now I can consciously focus on providing this for other people that are around me. Um, and especially as we wrap up, you know, 2021, uh, there's a lot of people struggling. There's a lot of people that are praying uh, for somebody to just notice them, to see them. Uh, for their shot, for their change, for their opportunity. Mm -hmm. and, and we have gifts, we have blessings, we have opportunity for people. But at the end of the day, the only way that our message gets out is we share with the people that are important to us. Um, and not everybody's going to see it like us, but I can tell you, you know, for us over this past decade that we've been involved with this, we haven't had another gift truly in our life like this um, that's been able to impact as many people, uh, as we have. So quick 10,000 foot overview of my takeaways on this, but, uh, at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm super excited for this foundation to be laid, uh, to show you guys, um, through what we're going to do over the next 12 to 18 months. And as it unfolds, use what works for you you know, uh, uh, put it into practice if you see fit for you. Um, but we, we want to get everybody uh, to where they want to get in their personal goals, their financial goals, and, and just the legacy that they want to leave behind. Mm. That was so good. Huh? <laughs> so much, so much of what, um, where I was going to say, we just love you guys so much. And it was funny because we used to, oh, Janet, your little things I need to get in my office and get my hearts and all that again. Um, uh, Marcel taught about it or taught on it at uh, Life Vantage Academy, uh, was it a week or two ago? And then we used to teach on it quite a bit. And it was also brought up today at um, Barry's mom, Sandra's funeral. Um, is, you know, there's three really powerful days in all of our lives, right? The day that we are born, we come into this gorgeous world, the day that we die, and we get to go into heaven and, and, you know, all that. And, but the other one is living our dash, right? On the tombstones or wherever anything is, is you have, you know, the day you were born, the, you know, the day that you die, and then there's the dash. And how are we living that dash? What is your story? What is your story during that entire beautiful life of yours, right? And what can you do today in this moment and the rest of this evening and in your prayers and your gratitudes before you go to bed and your prayers and your gratitudes when you wake up in the morning and through the day tomorrow, where is your mindset going? right? Where is it going into, you know, I'm going to have a great, you know, all this positive, um, you know, instead of looking at things as tough, tough, you know, situations, thinking of them as opportunities, changing that languaging around, um, you know, just really being aware and digging in. We talked a little bit at Life Advantage Academy too about our whys, you know, as we get into, you know, the holiday season, happy Hanukkah for those of you out there, the Jewish faith, we have Christmas coming up, Kwanzaa, all these different beautiful holidays, and we get into a lot of reflection on life, and many people, um, you know, over New Year's, they've got their New Year's resolutions, but we want to make those be forevers, right, we want to constantly be improving upon those and creating those, and, and for those of you in performance club, we have our performance club speaker. I've been speaking to Lauren Lahav, um, you know, this past week and a half or so. And she finally, we finally have the exact date. It's going to be Wednesday. For those of you that don't know who Lauren Lahav is, she's a dear, dear friend of mine. She's been speaking on the Tony Robbins um, stages for many, many years, many years, decades. Um, she's an international speaker and author, and she just is just so excited to come on Wednesday um, at 1.30 Central and come and speak life. That's all she said today. I just want to speak life into these people. I just want to speak life. Um, and she will. And she also is huge on, you know, vision boards. And she's going to be doing a course um, on the 11th. And Marisa actually has uploaded one into um, One Person Big Difference that is magnificent. So there's just all these different goals and whatnot. But let's, let's, uh, Leslie, when you said Soulful Sunday, that was so good about talking about our wins because we all are so hard on ourselves. We're so judgmental of ourselves. Dang it. But we are human. 
Like, let's go throw on the positivity and celebration and let's throw into that soulful Sunday of the winds um, and really just decide to make it a magnificent rest of the month. Let's, let's decide to make it a magnificent rest of, you know, December going into January and year, but hold each other accountable and just being there. And that's one of the greatest things about this one person big difference family and life vantage is we, you know, this is, it's always a safe place of vulnerability, of truth, of growth, of, of, oh my goodness gracious. And we don't get that always in the everyday world. When we were talking about being on these calls, we are so blessed, aren't we, to have the personal growth and development that we have. I mean, this isn't just network marketing stuff. This is life stuff. So I just want to, like Sean said, take one nugget away from all these weeks and put it into play, right? Take two. I mean, whenever we go to Tony Robbins or Eric Worre stuff, they're like, if you can take one thing and just put it into action and have that be your focus, you are so much further ahead. So I could just keep going on and on and on. Um, but more than anything, we love you. Um, we are ready, like getting through life, like we all go through lately is, has been a journey and a little bit of a whirlwind. We're trying to figure out which way is up and down and all around and getting into the house and whatnot. But I can tell you, I've got some burningness in me and it's ready to get some action going. So is anybody else out there feeling like they're ready to take some additional action I know I am and ready to bring on the energy. I saw Michelle Boris wrote into their uh, chat earlier that where focus goes, energy flows, right? And that's so real. So let's make that commitment. And anything else? No, end of the month. Let's wrap it up. Specials? You all know the specials. Yes. I need to build this. All right. All right. So hopefully we'll see most of you on Wednesday. Uh, if you are not available at that time, we will have it recorded. You can always jump into um, the Facebook group and watch the recording. If you were not currently in the performance club, make it this month. And all of those trainings are accessible to you uh, yes. since we started it. It's coming up on almost two years, which is crazy. So it super excited crazy. for you guys. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and we will chat soon. Thank you, everybody. Love you to pieces.